people start off on great lifestyle changes, incorporate better nutrition habits, more physical activity, and then something happens and they get off track. Research supports that the first six months of a lifestyle change are the hardest and sticking with it can really be a challenge. Today, we've got Dr. Mary Saf Tanaka with us, a pediatrician, a great cook, and someone who's really pro at helping us turn ideas into reality when it comes to healthy eating. She's gonna show us some ways to stay on track and turn these lifestyle goals into long living lifestyle changes. So many people start off on their healthy eating plan and their physical activity plan and they do great for a couple of months and then they quickly get off track. It just becomes too difficult. What kind of things can we do to make it easier to stay on track with a healthy eating plan and make it a lifestyle change? I find that a lot of times breakfast is a very hard meal to eat healthy. A lot of times we are used to the sugary cereals. A lot of times people don't even eat breakfast. And so what we have here today is a very quick, very simple recipe that incorporates some protein and also incorporates vegetables. So this is a baked egg frittata. We have six eggs, we have some low-fat shredded cheese, and then we have a cup of frozen defrosted spinach. How do we put it together? What do we do? First, you know, you want to break the eggs into the bowl. Now we're going to throw in the spinach, and it's a great way of incorporating vegetables into your breakfast. Um, there's a variety of ways that you can actually eat this. You can wrap it up in a whole wheat tortilla, kind of like a breakfast burrito. If you don't want to have any carbs that morning, just take the slice of egg and put it in just a little plastic container and heat it up. We'll bake this in the oven at about 375 for about 20 minutes. The cheese will get nice and brown on top and it's done. And as you can see, it's a pretty thin layer of egg, so it cooks relatively quickly. I also know that a lot of people struggle with snack times. I understand you have some ideas here on how to make snacking healthier. Tell us a little bit more about your thought process in putting this together. Sure. You know, you can do something just as simple as eating an apple or an orange, or if you want something a little bit more prepared, we have some other options. So what we have here is a regular vegetable tray, but instead of, you know, some sort of dip that incorporates a lot of sour cream, a lot of fat, we have this yogurt avocado dip. And then instead of using sour cream, I used non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And then what we have over here is, it could be a dessert, it could be breakfast, it could be a snack. So these are our banana splits. And instead of ice cream, we use the Greek yogurt that we used in the avocado dip, um, which is a non-fat, plain Greek yogurt uh, with some fresh strawberries. This is like a great dessert to have. It's got your fruits in it, it's healthy. You could have it as a snack, or you could have it after dinner for people who have a little bit of a sweet tooth. Staying on track, while it might be difficult sometimes, doesn't have to be that way. We can make it easier to turn these ideas, these goals of eating healthier and being more active into real life lifestyle changes that stick with us forever. 